is the actual first playthrough of that for the tutorial. Instruction is com your instruction is complete. Continuous match, yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, whatever. He's already level six. Doesn't matter. Combat, a attack move. Yep, makes sense. The gods reward the gods reward you with gold for damaging heroes. Wrath, your wrath increases when opposing heroes level up. Blobs, ghosts collect ectoplasm to gain followers. B turns a follower into a blob. Map, unexplored areas, stairs, blacksmith portal. Shit. That's another thing is... Ah, uh, this isn't good. Need to use my special. So it's usually good to eliminate one of them. Commit to that. Ah, fuck that. Ooh, stay away from the bomb. I like how the trail is nice and visual. Next round, I gotta try smooth aiming. Hit him with that. A uh, blacksmith, yep. Um, crooked crossbow has a powerful bolt, it takes time to reload, has an unusually low attack speed. Rule club. Damage plus 2, plus 2, range plus 1. Oh, 25 or 35. Is it normally high damage for a club? Um, these are also useful. Cadaver burst. Vile magic infects your monsters. When killed, their corpse will swell, then violently explode. Tears of Living Tomb allows you to create new fire spells. Metal of Honor, Soul of Old Magician. On a kill streak of four more, your spells recharge faster. Um, we're gonna buy the Book of Tears, because it sometimes will help us. And the guests get the Cruel Club, because. Ah, shit! I should have looked at these first. Berserk Root Trigger Wild Frenzy deals double damage. See, these replace your special move. Oh, on the road of blood? That could have been... Oh, fuck. I would have gone with the undead Icker. Oh, well. It is what it is now. No, oh, no, no, don't stand next to that. Wow, this is a lot more damage. But it's drastically slower. Huh, that's pretty useful. Just kill these items and get out of here. Why am I hanging around? Stop. Oh. Ooh, Book of Tears. What a lifesaver. Oh, it's a stinky mushroom tip. It's weeping all over the place. Did you get that looked at, buddy? Still gotta get used to the swing timer. No, please. Nice. Yeah, it's good to wait for the special ability. Seems to be my primary source of damage. Are those dungeon creeps that weren't actually... I think those are dungeon creeps that weren't controlled by them. I'm just gonna try to avoid them to mess with my ability. Wait for that special. No, I didn't want to go down. I didn't want to go down. Going down, it's important to choose when you go down because they gain more wrath as you descend. So it's important to try to... They only can level up in between levels, so you want to bide your time on each level and don't want to rush down. Uh, I guess I can't even upgrade him. Well, ready then. I'm not sure what difficulty these bots are on. Probably medium. Treasure chest. So I have a sliver of health. My best chance is. Whoa, no, that's bad. I love bots. Oh, don't want to be in here. There's 
also go to the freeze. It's only for the spike trap. We can do very little here. Oh, I guess I should make a little goop spawn. Get the protoplasm, then make goop spawns. What? Oh, he's a teleport here? Usually worth it to gain the stat boost. Ooh, you can throw with that. So this is the hard part where he can someone can steal the last kill. Did I get him? I think I got him. Yeah, I did get him. That's the thing you gotta be careful about, um... What? Someone's stealing the kill from you, because it makes a difference. I should go back to the item shop. Um, the sword, the words. I'll try sticking with this for now. Sometimes, I usually would go with the sword, more balanced attack, human heart, consumer heart, to permanent increase health by one. Oh, uh, yes. That's pretty useful, really. Level 10 required, which we are close to. Oh, damn. That's dangerous goop. Despite my time. Oh, the bigger they are, the easier they are to hit. <laughs> What the hell? How did I take- Oh, the, the Book of Tears is really doing good. Uh, level 10. So you can go for the boss, and you can die, it's not the end of the world. You have like three attempts, unless they change that. Is there a monster in there? No, just gold. Um, I'll go back to the blacksmith. I'll probably go for the boss. This is only a normal. Spirit bow. Place Raging Bull. I like Raging Bull. Advanced Roll I used to use more, but Raging Bull does damage at the same time. Ogre Sweat. Yeah, let's go with that. What's over here? Ectothermic Slime. The strange ghastly slime. Views your spirit with power, increasing the effectiveness of each ectoplasm. How do I not? Worst case scenario, we'll die and uh, come back as a ghost. Let's do it. Borok, so this is the eyeball dude. Um, these are health. Okay, um, I don't think there's any point of overusing him. Whatever. This guy, um, someone controls an arm. Someone controls an arm, someone controls a head. That's not what I wanted, I forgot. So I think we have to wait. Yeah, he shoots one of these. Ah, goddamn. He shoots one of those things and they explode and we have to hit an engine. I don't think the bubbles do damage in and of themselves. Just basically want to survive more. Oh, I'm supposed to wait until his mouth is open. Oh, we can wail on him. I guess I should use Raging Bull there. Um, rather get bubbled than damaged. Chin chin. I almost had that one. But I should just play reserve. I might be able to do this myself. Yeah, and this boss, I really benefit from having a quicker weapon. Also, if you you have to be behind it to hit it up to him, so they are being good and play defense with it. They're being 
smart playing defense against me, which is pretty annoying. Yeah. Now I know it's Korak. Um, damage output isn't as important as weapon type. Oh, I can't do it again on this level. Um, even these daggers would be better. We do less damage. Ah. I can't sell anything yet. I'm just gonna have to wait till the next level. So the club did me well for the beginning part because it was severe damage, but it became detrimental for that boss. Defensive breaks. But I'm going to call it this an episode and on to... So I ended up mesmerizing how quickly they go through the menus. Anyways, that's the end of this episode. Thanks for stopping by. I'll be back in just a second. Peace out. Hello, hello. Welcome back. Can we... Can upgrade shit. So this is where being the hero for too long means your guys are going to be... Um, a lot weaker. You can still snipe the finish. You can still snipe the kill. The treasure chest. Oops. Not single. Single. Ah, run, run. Not good. Okay, stay over here. Ooh, he's a slimy mu mushroom wizard. I've been called worse. Ah, fuck. These traps suck. And he's being a... Wow, they improve the AI. They try to trap you more. They try to um, draw out fights. Enchant weapon enchanted for one battle? Eh. Skelling Man is my least favorite early form. I should be near this trap, at least it can protect me. What? It went to the other side of the room. You hold down A, line up your shot. We're leaning him down pretty good. Ah! Yeah, you can still outmaneuver him, especially with the heroes. Oh, he's level 9, but I guess he hasn't leveled up at the shop very much. I think I have a speed advantage against him, and he's in trouble because of it. No, no, no! As long as I get a good lead up, I should be able to chip away at him. Come on, come on, we can do this. Why is the skeleton bleeding? Hilarious. Oh, he shoots down on the ground. Oh, oh, oh. oh man, one hit. Yes! Got him with the crate! How you like me now, son? Um, I want to change my weapon first. No, no, no! Oh my god. That statue is like a high-level monster. If they get in it, uh, you're, you're going to be struggling for a little bit. It's... Oh, ho, ho! Did the other guy not have the special ability? He sure as hell didn't use it. That makes me wonder if the computer always has um, special abilities when they're the hero character. 
but these guys hit heavy and can do almost as much damage as you can to them once you get the third and fourth level. On something quicker, Veiled Shiv, G Shiv, eh, and a chance of Cosmic Strikes. Um, value has better value. I'm better off getting the Shiv, just because it's quicker. And if I need to get around that enemy, Advanced Roll, no. Floating Beam, Cast Energy Beam from a Floating Rune, no. Ogre Sweat, yep. Him of Envy shout this harsh melody swap weapons with the leading hero. Well, you're dead? Whatever, go to the uh, portal. Should be able to take him out now with a quicker hit weapon. Go to deflect it more easily. Maybe the dodge roll would have served better for this boss. Um, I can get full health for these. Oh, and with the dagger, you don't run a stamina. Huh. Seeing the ghosts around there going, oh. Yeah, we're gonna get this pretty soon. Now that you can attack much quicker. You using a slow attack on this guy's detrimental quick attack is makes it much better. Nope, didn't get him. <laughs> the, the tears stunned him for a sec, I think. No, no, no! Oh, oh. Had that one wrong. Ooh. Yeah, these boss, um, it's more tightly tuned. They did some stuff more balancing this where it's actually quite a bit harder. You used to be able to steamroll this guy pretty easily on normal. But I like it because it means you have to have actually a good... No! Oh, a good setup. And the ability to dodge for a long time or you're gonna be in trouble. There we go. I could still lose this if I get cocky, so I just gotta keep my head in it. So you basically have to evade in between, because otherwise they will get a beat on you. Okay. No, I timed that wrong shit. There we go. We escaped the dungeon. Wow, I love those animations. I love how that looks when they explode. Salvation! Ooh, on top of our pile of dead bodies. Escaped alive. Boss killer. Sweet! So I think that was on... Must have been a normal. But it was on normal to take an easy first start. Um, considering the length of this video, I think I'll probably combine it with this and this, the previous one. Thank you very much for stopping by. Greatly appreciate it. I really enjoy this game. I think it's fantastic. Um, the only thing is, if this had online multiplayer, it just it'd just be perfect. Uh, thanks so much for stopping by. Hope you have a tremendous day and peace out.